Thank you for visiting my channel. And today we're gonna just do a real tiny, quick, simple mukbang. And I'm gonna tell you or show you how I eat my pickled sausage. I call them hot sausages because I usually generally like the spicy pickled sausages. Um, and while we're eating on this, we're going to talk about our favorite pickled uh, foods, our favorite pickled sausage, the best ones, and also self-esteem and confidence. Okay, you'll always hear a lot of noise here. I apologize, but here. Mm. These are Hannah by Hannah. Hannah's, Hannah's pickled sausage. These are pretty good. I have, I've had Hannah's pickled sausage like out of the packs in the gas station and I didn't care for them as much. But this is Hannah's out of a jar, out of a big old juicy jar. Now, I just bite my pickled sa sausage. I bite it, but I have to eat it, eat my hot sausages or my pickled sausages with salt and vinegar chips or dill pickle chips every time. I usually like Tom's or Lay's salt and vinegar with my pickled sausage, but that's how I have to have them because I like a crunch with that meaty texture. Now, I never thought I would be enjoying Hannah's pickled sa sausages. The ones that I've gotten from the gas station are in the single plastic packets. Mm, the texture or something is just not right about them. The texture with these out of the jar and the taste is wonderful out of the jar. Sometimes I think the taste of your pickled sausages varies. Not, I mean, like you can buy a Tijuana Mama today and it's perfect. And you could buy a Tijuana Mama tomorrow and the texture is different. And, <coughs> excuse me. These are more so pickled and not as spicy. I do like the Tijuana Mamas and Big Mamas maybe better because of the spice. I like this spice. I did a video trying to see which ones were better out of the Firecracker, Big Mama, and Tijuana Mama. I forgot which one tasted better that day. I love pickled snacks. What's your favorite um, pickled sausage?
What are your favorite pickled snacks? I love pickled eggs. Pickled okra is really, really good. I eat pickled pig feet every blue moon. I can't have a whole bunch of it, you know? And pickled okra is really delicious. Pickles are delicious. Pickled eggs. I actually had um, pickled asparagus. I made it myself. I made it right here at home. It was delicious. Now, Let's talk about self-esteem. Do you have high self-esteem or low self-esteem? And be honest. I have low self-esteem. Where does where does where do you think low self-esteem comes from? I think sometimes. A lot of it is coming from basing yourself or comparing yourself to a certain degree to other people. And usually back in the day, day it probably started before it was just so much social media and so much media. It probably started, like, you know, like, back in the day, people amongst their, like, families, like, they may have felt different because all of their family members might have had brown eyes and they had blue eyes, or they may all have been around people who had blue eyes. But then now, it's the media that a lot of people are basing beauty on, upon, or comparing themselves with, or feeling like they need to meet certain expectations or standards. Like, you know, I think that's where, where my self-esteem issues maybe come from because maybe I feel like, you know, like a lot of times I don't even make my videos because I don't want my face in it because I feel like I should be looking like, uh, you know, somebody in the media maybe or, you know, everybody is, yeah. But The media tries to project or make us think what they want us to think. And they want us to think certain things are beautiful. Back in the day, I used to be on Web Answers. So I could get my Google AdSense account and get paid. I don't really do it anymore. But people ask questions and answer it. But there was a question on there and someone was like, how can I be more beautiful? And the person answered them and said, stop watching so much TV and media. And I'm like, Perfect answer. 
I mean, it helped me a little bit with my self-esteem or just to even just look and say, hmm. But the media wants you to think certain things are ugly or certain things are beautiful. But you got to love you. Like, what do y'all think about what they did to poor little Blue Ivy? All the negative comments. And, you know, I just thought about it that before that girl could even get in this world, you know, people wanted to say, oh, she's going to be ugly. She's going to look like her daddy. She's going to be ugly. She's going to be this. She, but she's gorgeous. She's honestly really a beautiful girl. She really is. And I'm not just saying that because I don't really care for Beyonce that much. I mean, you know, yeah, I like her music. Okay. I like her. I guess I'm a hater. But no, I'm just joking. But ser- seriously, though, I'm not like her biggest fan, though. I like Jay-Z. But anyways, she's a beautiful girl. Seriously. I mean... They even went as far as to, you know, not only did, you know, they talk about it, but when she gets, I saw somebody um, talking about how now they did a photo shoot with her, with her hair straight. And it's like, people are, you know, she's a, you know, beauty icon now. But honestly, she was cuter with the natural hair, but she was a cute, she's a cute little girl. But, how's your self-esteem? What are some tips to build confidence? Give us, give me some tips. Give me some tips on how to have better self-esteem. If you have low self-esteem, if you want to, tell us about it in the comments. Thank you for coming. Comment, subscribe, share, like, come back. I got a bunch of random, random, all kind of stuff on my channel. Don't ever get scared of me or run away, but just come back. There's something on here you'll like. Just come back. Okay, I know I don't have the, all the, you know, I'm no beloves or anybody, but yeah, come back. And tell me what y'all think about Blue Ivy. And no negative comments, because I mean, people have already said negative stuff about the girl. I mean, you know what I'm saying? What do y'all think about the people saying hateful? mean little stuff about that poor baby. What do you think about people talking about children and other people's children anyway? What would you do if somebody was talking about your children or your child? Thank you.